All right, I'm gonna walk you through a VCUG, or avoiding cystourethrogram. You may get a call from IR to help come with a pediatric patient that needs one of these. Um, basically what this is, it's a um, radiology procedure done with fluoroscopy to visualize the bladder and the urethra of a pediatric patient, maybe for someone who's getting chronic UTIs. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what supplies to grab and how to set this up down in IR. So before you go down, go into our own supply room because they won't have these downstairs. You're gonna want just a basic infant or pediatric in and out cap, just depending on the age of the patient that you're working with. And then you're gonna want a Foley. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm grabbing a 10 French just because as you can see, my um, volunteer here is a little larger than a normal Pete's patient would be. But for any of the infants, I would grab a six French. Um, anyone over two, I would probably grab an eight. And definitely take two or three with you. You can always bring them back um, just in case it doesn't go in properly the first time. Um, so while you're completing this exam, you're gonna go down into IR. The IR tech will be setting up basically a bottle of contrast, which is what the saline solution is, is uh, representing today, and some primary tubing. When you get your Foley in, they're gonna connect the end of it to this um, primary tubing, and I'll show you that at the end. Um, so you're gonna have mom or dad help you position the patient, um, just depending on the age, prep them for what's going to happen. Um, we've had anywhere from a 10 year old have this done to a 10 month old, and I'm sure anywhere in between are the outliers as well. So just depending on what you do, but say your patient is prepped and ready on the table for you, um, you're gonna start just a basic, um, take out your calf. And I just like that because it already has all of your supplies in there with you or for you. All right, try not to judge too harshly on my sterile technique right now as I'm not with a patient. All right, and my videographer may need to be my second hand <laughs> at some point. <laughs> so go ahead and don your sterile gloves. You are going to keep this as a sterile procedure just like you would with any other urinary cath. Of course, the gloves are gonna get stuck on me doing the video. All right, here we go. Keeps it real life. Go ahead and put some of your lubricant down. Um, and actually, I'm gonna have my assistant, if you can, just drape that sheet underneath the patient just so we don't get any on the bed. Sorry, I should have thought about that beforehand. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> All right, in the meantime, I'm just still prepping my supplies. My package is opened, it's ready for me to grab. Okay, all right. So you're just going to, and I'm gonna mimic cleaning because I don't wanna dirty our um, volunteer here. So you would just clean outside, inside as you would prior to any other calf, inside, outside, all right. And then I'm gonna actually, sorry, Christy, as you're <laughs> holding this as a camera and the supplies, then I can grab this out. Perfect, thank you much. Keeps it real how you would have to be in the field, right? There we go. Keeping that all sterile. Super. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're just gonna dip this into your lubricant and then cap your patient just as you normally would. The IR tech will have kind of a, um, a stop lock um, if, you, if yours doesn't have one of these already. Um, it's like a blue on one side and white on the other portion, and it's just a valve. You're gonna plug that. She can hand it to you once you get the catheter in place. You're gonna plug this end with that. Um, then your IR tech is going to hand you your tubing, because you're now in the right place. And you're just gonna connect the tubing to here, right there, and screw that on. And then you're gonna tape it to your patient. The IR tech will also have tape there for you. Um, depending on the age of your patient, a 10 year old, you can just put a couple pieces of tape there and let them do the procedure. I found with the younger kids, especially babies, um, that I end up donning the apron and staying here and just holding this catheter in because as they're crying, they're getting more upset because there's no balloon inflating into that fully to keep it in place, they can push it out. Um, and so that will save you a trip of running upstairs and grabbing a new Foley and having to put it in again, which has happened to me. So I would recommend kind of sitting here um, with the patient. What they'll do is they'll then start the contrast. The contrast will fill into that ladder. They'll take a bunch of pictures and then they'll have the patient try and void. 
Um, and as the patient is voiding, um, they'll have you remove this and then have the patient void. As the patient is voiding, they'll take several more pictures. Um, it's a relatively short procedure if everything goes right. It's just grabbing the right supplies and having it all ready.